so really got to pre-plan these things so that when you get there it's more of a it's just a reaction that you're going through that you already planned for up front and you're not doing a gut, a gut reaction to kind of well maybe I could do this and maybe I could do that so the first thing that I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll take a look and see if I can find this breastbone. It's kind of right in the center of the two breasts. And I will try to cut right along the side of it. I'll pick one side or the other and cut right down through the backbone. I'm going to come back across the other side and try to remove the spine out of the center. There's usually some extra skin here and there that's kind of flapping over. I'll come in and take some of this excess skin and fat off. I'm just going to have some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Come in and shake a little of that on the bird. Just wipe that down on the skin. I'll try to get a pretty good layer of rub down here on the back side of the bird because it's going to run off or a lot of it will. Okay, and I'm going to expose the bottom side of the wing, bottom side of the leg, make sure that I've got some seasoning under there. And what I try to do is get rub on every part of the skin that I can see. What you see here is usually just about the exact thing that I would do in a competition without much of a change. I may put a little more rub on it, but that's pretty much it. I do my chicken hit competitions in this. Um, I have some bigger cookers that I use to do my brisket and my pork. Once the fire starts, the pellets just keep dropping in and smoldering and burning. And that's it. it it's really a basic concept. Um, it keeps the temperature very consistent, which is kind of important for um, competition cooking, just the fact that I want consistency and I want to know if an hour and a half is going to be pretty much my target time and the temperatures haven't fluctuated 50 degrees. And when I'm putting these birds in and I'm getting ready to cook them, I'll try to typically go ahead and pose the bird where I think I'd like it to be, try to let it cook in that state for a while and kind of firm up and get where I want it to be rather than the wing kind of hanging back and lopsided because it doesn't show very well in the end when we need the judges to look at it. I'm looking for right in between this thigh and this leg to be approximately 175 degrees and that would, um, that would be the temperature. I'd like to stop cooking, let it rest for about 10 minutes, the temperature will rise a little bit more. Yeah. So the last thing I do before we'll turn into the judges is I'll come in here and kind of brush on the sauce. Try not to make it look too thick. I don't want them to think that I'm trying to hide some defect under the sauce anywhere. So I just want it to look very even and kind of natural looking.